Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Cody, and I'm going to have a couple of videos for you, trying to catch up on the news for today, but I just wanted to share this amazing synchronicity that I found. Um, two things I want to mention here. I want to mention the solar eclipse. The solar eclipse, let me bring it up for you guys. The last solar eclipse was on December 4th, 2021, okay? So keep that in mind. And the next one, the next thing I want to talk about is Tom Brady's retirement on three thirteen, or he retired on the year of the tiger, okay, and he came back forty days later on three thirteen, one day before Pi Day and two days before the Ides of March, which is three fifteen, okay. So let me just show you guys how I mean, just how amazing this is. So if you take this whole tweet that Tom Platy put out, he said, "These past two months, I've realized my place is still on the field." and not in the stands. That time will come, but it's not now. I love my teammates and I love my supportive family. They make it all possible. I'm coming back for a 23rd season in Tampa. Unfinished business, LFG, okay? So if you take this over, the first thing I wanna mention is this, guys, okay? The first thing I wanna mention is this. Tom Brady was born on 8-3, and if you measure from the day that he came back, if he if you measure from the day that he made this that he unretired to his upcoming birthday, it's a hundred and forty three days. Okay, hundred and forty three days. Just remember that number. Remember all the combinations of that number. Remember, pi is three point one four. This you can write it one four three three one four one three four or just remember that combination, but right now I just want you to focus on the one, three, four days before Tom Brady's upcoming birthday. Okay, so let's go over here. This, this tweet that he put out, I'm coming out of retirement. If you take it over to the calculator, you're going to get 823. That's the whole thing. Okay, the first thing to mention here is that 823, remember Tom Brady's coming back for his 23rd season. And if he wins a Super Bowl this year, he would be eight Super Bowls in 23 years. So there's your eight and 23. But this is what's crazy, guys. What do you think this number is? Remember, I just told you that Tom Brady made this tweet 143 days before his birthday. If you click this number, you're going to get 143rd prime. How? Okay, guys, do you understand how mind-blowing this is? How does he, he make this whole tweet? come out to 823 so well to make sure that it, it equals 823 right so that he comes back because so that, because it needs to equal 143rd prime right because it's 143 days until his birthday okay and it needs to equal 823 and he made it perfectly come out to 823 not only that guy but just think about how he had to shorten this part right he had to out he had to add in this lfg so just just think about that, guys. I mean, it's just mind blowing, and that's not even it. Wait till I show you um, how this is tied to this solar eclipse, and how this is tied to the Ides of March, and how this is tied to Pi Day. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go <coughs> over here. Okay. So this is the other thing, guys. If you type in "Tom Brady is back," it equals one forty three. I just told you guys, it's just like that quote is the 823, which is the 143rd prime. Well, if you type in Tom Brady is back, it equals 143. Now, if you type in solar eclipse, it equals 134. And look, it equals 53. In football, there's 53 guy, a 53 man roster in football. All right, Vesica Pisces, the name of the shape of the football is 53 in this same cipher. Okay, so. Also, I told you guys, the eclipse was December 4th, 143, just like Tom Brady is back. Okay, just like Eyes of March is 134, and Solar Eclipse is 134. Okay, Cincinnati, Ohio, they were, they were founded on the 140, Cincinnati Bengals were founded on the 143rd day of the year. Cincinnati, Ohio is 143. They were in the Super Bowl, 40 days before Tom Brady comes back. Okay. So just keep all that in mind. Now, now let's let's even show you how even more crazy this is. Because if you measure, 
let me find this, guys. If you measure from the solar eclipse, okay, so this is Tom Brady's birthday, 143 days. But if you measure from the solar eclipse that I'm talking about on December 4th, okay, I told you that equals 143 as well. Look how many it how many days it is, how many weeks it is from December 4th eclipse till tomorrow, Ides of March. It's 101 days, which is the 26 prime, like queen equals 26. But it's also 14 weeks and 3 days. 1, 4, 3, guys. 1, 4, 3. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I don't, I just don't know what to say anymore. Like, this is so coded. I mean, just look what I showed you. Tom Brady comes back. 1, 4, 3. It's 114, 14 weeks and 3 days from the eclipse, which solar eclipse equals 134. Cincinnati was in the Super Bowl. 1, 4, 3. The eclipse was on December 4th. 143 the ides of march which is 14 day 14 weeks and 3 days before the ides of march is 134 notice these other correlations here too okay notice that ides of march is a, a 235 235 now i told you guys that the cincinnati bengals were founded on the 143rd day of the year and that day is may 23rd and what's this guys 523 like may 23rd now notice that Cooper Cup, the Super Bowl MVP, he ties into this because he's 244, Ides of March, 244. Now look at this, guys. Cooper Doug Douglas Cup, his whole name is 215. What was the day that Tom Brady was born on? Let me go back, guys. I took this off. Tom Brady was born on the 215th day of the year, 215. Look, and this year... This date has a 53-date numerology. I just told you that um, the I just told you the significance of the 53 tying back to Tom Brady is back, solar eclipse 53, Vesica Pisces the shape of the football 53. I mean, come on, guys. So Cooper T Douglas Cup, the MVP, was so tied in with with Tom Brady this year, right? And I already talked a lot about him tying in with plutonium and everything, but Remember, the atomic weight of plutonium is 244. So, but guys, I just don't, I don't see how much more clear and obvious this is. I mean, these things are all tied together and, and it's, it's, it's really crazy how they do it. My next video that I'm going to make, guys, is going to be talking about um, the Ides of March and tying in uh, a musical artist named Miles Kennedy. And I'm going to show you a really in-depth decode on how he ties into the Eyes of March and how his albums are tied into that. But anyway, with this one, I didn't want to make it too long. I just wanted to point out the very obvious things. And I um, hope you guys will be back for my next video. I think you'll really find it interesting. But this one just blew my mind. And I hope you guys enjoyed. I will see you.